have the small visual indicators for DI, for yeah. mashing, all that stuff right now. So now we're going into Losers Finals, which is sometimes a Winners Finals. A lot of Xenos, you know, Venia versus Sinchi. But now we got to have them fight out for third while the winner moves on to fight against Jen. You know Sinchi wants that run back. Absolutely. And Sinchi was well, They both want the run back. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Jen has been quite confidently cleaning up bracket all day today, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, and Sinji is... Sinji is definitely no slouch, but the way it was looking in their, uh, the second game that Jen had won, it was just looking clean like Pac-Man? I don't know this matchup. And it's difficult to make Sinji look like that, you know? Sinji mm -hmm. is such a patient player that the idea of going like, oh yeah, uh, I, I beat Sinji with an extra stock, or I three stock Sinji, like anything like that is a crazy idea. Yeah, and you know, Pac-Man is one of those weird characters that some people don't really know the matchup against. Obviously, the likes of Sinji do, like just from playing him in Smash 4. Pac-Man pretty much has kind of the same game plan with like altered uh, little tweaks here and there. Mm -hmm. uh, all he wants to do is just kind of like uh, keep keep the opponent away, zone them out, charge his projectile, and try to throw like the different types of projectiles to mix up like how he wants to go for this approach. Mm -hmm. Right now he's got the Bell. Bell really good at being able to stun the opponent and lead into a free smash attack if they're yep. close to the ground. You see him throwing. He throws that in arc too, so it catches jumps. Yep, absolutely. It's it's also quite uh, a lingering hitbox, even though it doesn't look like that. Fruits in general are sort of deceptive for how long they're active. Mm. Um, but Sinji keeping off stage here, and this is where a lot of the percent in the match with Jen happened, was when Sinji had gotten off stage or when he didn't have time to set up like this. Um, Hackman, in general, if he doesn't have the time to set up, like, he's fighting an uphill battle. But Sinji is really creative with the way, like, oh my god! He missed the punish, though! He's a little bit too far away, tried to get to do the Sinji against himself. 132% has Venya off stage. Tries to mix up where he's gonna land. Grab does work in this game. Grab does work. It's still a punishable option, though. The the very few uh, vulnerable places where Pac-Man doesn't already have a setup, Pac-Man's with the grab or Pac-Man's off stage. And that's where Venya's mostly going to have to try to find his conversions here because Sydney doesn't, you know, leave himself open for trades too much. He doesn't... Oh, goodness. That man dropped the Hydra on his head. Just runs off stage, steps on him a couple times, 142% on Sinji. Benny just, oh. I mean, honestly, a good <laughs> option because he committed to the double jump. He did. He tried to challenge him with the back air, and Benny had a disjointed hitbox with that water sword off the F smash. The little kunai. Absolutely. Okay. Trying to shark the platforms here. Not too bad. He doesn't want him to get set up too much. He's waiting to make sure that he doesn't throw down the Hydra, which is patient. That's good. You saw him throwing the Galaxian ship, really good at catching tech rolls and tech reads. Covers a lot of options. Puts it into combo setups. Yep. And he has the trampoline down, which is very strong for keep away, but Greninja is such a jumping character because it forces a jump. Um, he can commit to the air and still come in on Pac Man. He's not giving Sinji any breathing space if he can allow it. And Benny is fully aware that whenever Sinji, uh, Sinji places down a trampoline in front of him, he's trying to bait out the jump so he can catch him with an anti air like the bell. Yes. Unfortunately, was on the platform and moving back, so no time to punish that grab there, but it is a very punishable grab. Air dodging away, 75 to 85%. Gonna charge all of his projectiles off stage, which is why he drifts like that. It lowers down his falling speed because of that. And we got him at 75%. Bell in the hand of Venia, trying to play around with this. And he's just going off again, using the Hydra to keep out Venia. There he goes, 106, off stage again. Air dodges right through that bell, doesn't want to get caught by it because he'll easily lead into an up smash. Got a parry on deck coming from that hydrant. Yep. Doesn't get anything out of it though, so maybe wasn't prepared for it to happen. But that's actually, I wonder what the punish is like in that scenario, right? Because if you put out a hitbox and you don't hit Pac-Man, that's a punish scenario on you because you've got an extended hit. That's got to suck. That's got to suck is, in. Get your bell caught and then be reversed on. That doesn't happen too much. It doesn't happen too often, but it is definitely a valid option that can come out. And if the opponent knows how to use Pac-Man's projectiles, you know, Pac-Man's got to keep on their toes. Absolutely. I mean, being denied the projectile, I think, is already a big enough thing. And many people don't know um, what to do with the projectiles when they have them. And hard to blame them. Ooh. Tries to go for the uh, setup off the Hydrant. Which he was doing earlier with um, with Stock Taker, with his villager. Mm -hmm. And this is still hard to find an answer for. I know I've seen this uh, matchup before, but it doesn't seem like Venya's going for the option too much. But he's kept him so on his toes and unable to put down Hydrant and really set up camp that I'm not surprised. You know, I like that uh, Venya goes for Shurikens off stage, like against his opponent, because if it hits Sinji, it drops his item and then he's off stage completely vulnerable. Yep. 
Water beating out the fire hydrant. Oh, oh too yeah, high a percent. Great DI from yep. Sinji. Gonna drag him down into a guaranteed down smash because of the missed tech. All right. Oh, oh no, he missed jumped time into the it. jump. I, I, he, I think what he was trying to go for was trying to either catch it or he wanted to jump after it was over. Regardless, because it looked like Venia knew he yes. was there and he just that, like messed up. That was absolutely a reactable time to go, oh, okay, the bell is there. I need to watch So, out. and he paid the price. He lost the game because of that. So, hopefully, he can like pull it together here. Go into the next game fresh. Got the bands on deck. Cindy doesn't want to play on what the uh, Sakurai deems the, the the competitive stages. You know, we got Battlefield and the FD out of there. Mm -hmm. So go ahead. So we're gonna <laughs> go back to town. <laughs> we go back to town. That's just fine. Uh, we've seen a lot of the stage throughout Smash Four. We'll be seeing a lot more of it, I'm sure, throughout Ultimate. Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot that uh, when. Grenenta does that counter, he kind of, his airspeed is weird at the very end. You normally don't see that because normally he lands back over into the air and bounces. Yeah, give me, down B can be very wonky for your boy Greninja. There we go, Sinji chilling on that middle platform, throwing out the Galaxing ship again. Just in case Benny is like in front of him, can easily set up for some combo damage afterwards. Yep. Uh, actually, jumping over to, oh, that's why, I see. He was trying to put a little bit of pressure on to get Venny to back off. Get that log out of here. It's still there! Yo. Uh, somebody call Naruto? We need oh our substitution God. jutsu. We need somebody to come fix it. All right, he's gonna trampoline. Scary situation, does get the tech though. Mm. And honestly, Sinji knew that he was gonna get hit there, so he, like, he was ready for the tech. Yes. He like preempted it. Mm -hmm. That's what you gotta do when you're off stage like that. So yeah, Sinji is sitting at 80%, trying to chill back on that platform, throwing out some more projectiles. Venia was searching, running back and forth, looking for this time that Sinji's going to finally go back down to the ground. Gets caught by another bell. Oh, tries to go for the, the double. Back. Great catch. Yo, he misses the punish, though. Again, could have gone for an up smash instead. Did not recognize that Sinji was caught midair. Another stun. No death. Yo. Should we just, uh, how many times are we going to ring it? That bell is MVP of this match, let me tell you. He is getting the most kills. What time the of day bell. is it in the town, really? 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 5? How many, how many rings? Like 20. All right. There we go. Okay, he's got the down tilt. 110%. All right, tries to... Again, bell, bell is actually a really good option against Oh, he Greninja. gets him again! Yes, Bell is a really good option against the likes of Greninja, because again, it's one of those things, same thing with Palutena's up smash, is that it's good for anti-airs, and Greninja yeah. wants to jump. But I think that in that spot, specifically, Sinji had jumped and then gotten that to where it just got on top of the platform, which I don't think Venue was ready for. Um, but that was really smart of Sinji to be on top of that, to know that that was possible there. Those double swings coming in, trying to apply pressure with that forward air against the shield. Mm -hmm. Going for that safe. That is the um, the Nair and the Fair out of shield, respectively. Yes? Mm. Okay. Yeah. Nair and Fair, both really good options out of shield. Sinji's go tos. Oh, that was the right call. We didn't have the timing. Doesn't eat a big punish for it, though. Just rolls right behind the grab. Here we go. 78% on Sinji off stage. Trying to get rid of this Hydrant by doing a little soft hit. Didn't keep track of the Hydrant's health, but wanted to hit him. He wanted to finish the Hydrant with a down tilt so he could yeah. go off stage slowly. Not only was that a great angle, but that also keeps him from being in uh, hit stun for too long, or hit lag for too long, which means that if Sinji goes like, oh, I'm gonna react to you hitting my Hydrant, he won't get punished for it, or not punished as hard, which is a really, really intelligent call, because that's one of the things that Pac-Man's look for. That's like, one of the first rules in the book, is that if people go after your Hydrant, you get in trouble. Very risky down B. Left himself completely open for Sinji. Just hit him with Inky. Mm -hmm. Sinji very collective or for blinky. that punish too. Red, I'm, red one's Blinky. It's funny for how uh, active Sinji is all over the stage, trying to get things done, trying to set up all that sort of thing. He is very observant and he is very methodical. He was there and he just waited. He just stood within Greninja's optimal range and he didn't feel the need to rush. He got the punish because of it. He wasn't like trying to be all crazy. Oh, that was a that was a cute conversion from Sinji. Not gonna lie, that was a that was a cute conversion. But I think that grab at the end was kind of sus. That was like, yo, I want to look stylish. <laughs> what? The? Down B off of the hydrant again. <laughs> just just obliterates Pac-Man. Oh god. All right, Grenenja showing Pac-Man that he is in fact the master of water, and he chooses where he goes. All right, Bell. We got to look out for that key. Just gonna hold shield, shield instead. Pressure. Yeah. Okay, goes under. That's also a really good thing for the fire hydrant is low profile there. Tries to counter again, gets it. And it's very difficult to... Oh, there goes the one. I'm sorry, I got totally thrown off by oh, that. Oh, he threw the cherry to catch the back roll. I mean, didn't get too much off of it, but still like a nice little catch. Could easily go into a follow-up. 
Fenia looking like he's on his tournament stock here. Might Unless be he a... can pull something going, get something together here. Yep. It's honestly still very doable, I feel, but he's giving Pac-Man more and more space here, which is what he wants for his setups. That melon went flying. Yeah. The honeydew was, goes, the honey was, was out. Is that what it is? Uh, we had this discussion before. It was, uh, it's not a cantaloupe, because cantaloupes are uh -huh. yellow. Well, you know it's green. Like honey but you know it's blue. That forward smash. Yep. They caught him catching that air dodge into the ground. Venia coming yep. back for a potential extra life. Yes. Sinji looking like the blue one over here. That he's got to play the game three on this one. Mm -hmm. That he's got to. I mean, that looked really strongly in Sinji's favor. You know, like, it looked like he was on 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 the course. I'd, on par for the course to get to Grand Finals. I'd say it was very strongly in Sinji's favor, but there were some things that he didn't quite have answers to. The mm. counter, obviously, is the number one. Um, Venya getting in, because he's able to low profile, because he can go over trampoline with relative comfort, because he likes being in the air, it seems that when Sinji's trying to make space, if Venya really wants to be up in Pac-Man's business, he can choose to be so. And Sinji hasn't quite found the response to that yet. See, stuff like that. They're out of shield, block, and punish. And it, a lot of people aren't able to get the punish there. It's very difficult, but Greninja, not so. But we're going back to Pokemon Stadium 2, just this big open stage for Sinji. It was all the platforms to be, help him, like, camp out a little bit and set up, like, these zones. Because if you, if you hide underneath those platforms, it's kind of tough for the opponent to, like, close in on you. Yes, platforms definitely catching, adding another layer uh, to Sinji's mix-up. Water pushes him out a little bit there. I was Oh, gets the log to extend his hurt box. That was uh, incredibly smart coming from Venia. Yes, I'm not, even, up. I'm not even sure that was intentional, but that was a good pickup. Absolutely. Yeah. Thinking on his feet. Okay, reacts to the ledge get up, mistimes the down tilt. Yep, he's trying he, to apply some pressure instead. Yeah. He still gets punished on the cross up dash attack, which is really good with Sinji. He, uh, the Nair, or. I think that was the Nair. The Nair is still really good at uh, picking up punishes regardless, but he had gone in the direction, so he was still on top of that like he knew. You saw Venia going off stage so hard with those back airs because he recognized that Sinji was at a jump, so he's trying to catch that side B over and over. Deleted the power pelt, potential edge guard? No, oh, just gonna attack on some damage instead. That's interesting, because I've never seen the water interact uh, vertically with Pac-Man's trampoline like that, so I wonder if it would have had any meaningful effect or not. Yeah, maybe he's just doing it for free damage. Because like Pac-Man's up B is kind of hard to challenge. As long as the second trampoline jump gets you to the ledge it's really hard to like go out there and challenge him but if you if he needs the third jump you can go out down there and catch the trampoline and delete it yes absolutely um and it does have a generous hitbox on it and stage spike it can kill at higher percents which venya is not in any danger of right now wow although sinji sinji was in the danger and he's out of it now dash tag to forward there like i said so many of greninja's moves ha have the opportunity to create combos afterwards you know yes. neutral, neutral air dash tag down tilt you name it Oh my What's God. going on? He here? got covered with his own height. He was actually cornered like it was an FGC game for a second. Like he was Yo, against the wall. Yeah. Absolutely. And you know what's funny is that Sinji, I will bet you money, that he had had that hydrant there initially because he wanted to push and mess up Venya's punish. And then it worked so hard against him for that percent. And now it's looking like last stock all over. He's barely put any damage on. Again, smart thinking coming from Venya, using the hydrant in his favor. Because honestly, the matchups against uh, Pac-Man, especially like in this matchup, it's kind of it goes into the favor of who has control of the fire hydrant. Yes. You know, whoever's like, in, like, yes, it is technically Pac-Man's item, but whoever's the one like sending the hydrant towards the opponent, you know, that that's actually like the one who's actually deciding. Yes. Yeah. And what's inter control. interesting note is that that slowdown that happens with Greninja's uh, counter. That's not like Greninja moving slow, that's the entire game. So that means that Pac-Man's charge is also slowed down. So if Sinji's trying to like, oh, I'll put out Hydrant, I can maybe get a little bit of space, maybe get a good fruit here. No, you get it slowed down, you don't get it as much as you want. The log is also gone. I, cannot, I cannot get over the Hydrant pushing these items, dog. They just go, they go, they go at sonic speed. But they're definitely on the other side of the planet. Look, these gentlemen now. need to open up a business together, open a river raft ride, sell Hundreds. That's dangerous. That's hazardous. <laughs> Wait, there we go. Down tilt forward air. Taking away that you second You say that like that down tilt is not hazardous. This man is already playing with fire with his water. Honestly, it's hazardous because Sinji's at his final stock. If Venya still has all three, what a turnaround. Yep, absolutely. And this is a dangerous place to be because Venya's being aggressive, right? He still has not gotten out of Sinji's face. But even if Sinji wants to be the aggressor, he only has three and a half minutes. He actually has to play aggressive to get it. He can't, like, slowly chip away with setups here unless he really gets some early kills. And Pac-Man doesn't want to approach. Like, no. that's not, like, he can't. Right. 
Pac-Man can approach like he did just there, but like it's no. not where he's optimal, and Venya could easily just play to the clock at this point. Absolutely. He's this not going to, but no, he it's, could. <laughs> it's a very difficult spot to be in, and maybe if it comes to a little bit of a more dire situation on last stock, if Sinji can get to that, I can see him playing to clock. But as it is, he has a long way to go. The thing, honestly, Venya, the reason he's still playing aggressive is because there still is three minutes, which is all, plenty of time when you actually think about it. Yes. And play, playing a aggressive this far has been working out for him. So why not just keep doing it? Keep it up, you know? Exactly. There's no reason not to, especially now that he's got... Oh, that's a big punish. Not all enough right. to get the kill just yet. And Sinji's slowly closing this gap. Yes. And you were talking about three minutes being a lot of time. Even though he hasn't gotten a lot of setups, it's only been a minute since he was uh, down two stocks. And Venya was still on his last at a high percent. And now he's about to get overlapped in percentage. Goes to the All counter. Right. Uses the platform above him to escape a punish. Smart stuff. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks like even if he had the end leg on there, he edge canceled it as well. He bounced off, which is super smart. He's seeing at 108. Venya trying to catch him with the shadow oh, sneak. Okay, that could have been really bad for Venya right there. Nope. Waits it out. This is oh so ugly! My God, he held it for so long! He was waiting for Sinji oh. to go for the jump out of shield. And uh, honestly, what was going through Sinji's mind probably was, look right here, right here. He was like, okay, I'm gonna hold this smash attack for a long time. And Sinji's like, if he's gonna hold it, I'm gonna try to punish him afterwards. That's why he that jumped wasn't a drop. That was a shield poke. That shield was poke. it? Yeah, that was a shield poke. He didn't drop. He would have gotten the parry. No, look at that shield. That, that is covering his entire body. No, 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 it, it clipped. Hold up. Can we go, for, can we go frame, by the, frame by this? Look, see it? No. He did let go of shield. He, he jumped. No, because if he let go, okay, maybe he jumped. He, maybe jumped, he jumped, dog. Maybe. I'm telling you, because that shield was covering his body. Like I, th I thought it had like clipped his shoe or something oh, on the opposite that's foot. Fair. Because it goes like upwards and then slides. I, I think yes. what happened. I'll ask Sinji later. I'm pretty sure he jumped out of shield. 